Y'all, I never want to make a video like this. Not regarding Jamaica. My people. But a co-worker of mine contacted me. She said, oh, you told me blah, blah, blah. And now I have an advisory. I didn't even know there was an advisory. Only for me to find out all the crimes happening in Jamaica. Are they underreported? Or are they overreporting? Y'all, please watch this. Let me know what y'all think. And then get back to me. So y'all, this is the travel advisory for January 23, 24. This is this year. Nothing old. Tonight, two of the most beautiful destinations in the Caribbean, now clouded by a stark warning from the U.S. government amid a rise in violent crime. The State Department bumping up the advisory level from two to three in Jamaica, urging Americans to reconsider travel there and updating a level two advisory in the Bahamas, telling tourists to exercise extreme caution. Those security alerts are response to reports of violent crime on the island. 65 murders in Jamaica and 18 murders in the Bahamas reported since January 1st of 2024. The U.S. Embassy in Jamaica warning of home invasions, armed robberies, sexual assaults and homicides, detailing that sexual assaults occur frequently, even at the all inclusive resorts and that local police do not respond effectively to serious incidents. In light of these startling numbers, the island's police force increasing patrols and adding officers. In other news, a policeman was shot and injured along Maxfield Avenue in St. Andrew on Tuesday afternoon. And Branch Seatock have arrested two men and seized three firearms in an operation in Oliver Gardens, Maple and Clarendon. The decline in murders in 2023 over the previous year, 57% of Jamaicans say they feel less safe now in their homes than they did a decade ago. Hello, I'm Kimon Francis. Two Westmoreland siblings who were reportedly killed over scamming money have been identified by their mother. Hello, I'm Joven Johnson. Four men were shot and killed at a restaurant and bar in Summerfield, Clarendon, early Wednesday. One were found dead inside their home in the community of Waterloo in Spanish Town St. Catherine on Tuesday morning. And three women remain hospitalized after being shot at a bar along Red Hills Road in St. Andrew on Monday afternoon. Four persons, including a woman, are now in custody over the attack on a beryllium courier team transporting money to a Scotiabank branch in Mandeville last called Friday. Chichi, who was last week charged with the murders of two schoolboys and a man in Salt Spring, St. James. Okay y'all drop your comments tell me what you think thank you guys so much for watching have a wonderful rest of your day